Hi, this is Steve at BlessedHopeForever.com. We're looking forward to a September 17 Feast of Trumpets rapture. Passover, uh, crucifixion, first fruits, resurrection, Pentecost, all fulfilled. Yom Teruah, uh, trumpets, unfulfilled. Possible rapture. Uh, followed by the 10 days of repentance to Yom Kippur, uh, the Day of Atonement. Unfulfilled. Followed by Tabernacles, the Kingdom, unfulfilled. It's the only timeline to me that makes any sense at all. Uh, any timeline must acknowledge the correct number of days. Uh, so imagine a rapture on trumpets followed by the tribulation period uh, beginning on the first sighting of a new moon, Rosh Chodesh, followed by the Antichrist defiling the temple, uh, setting himself up, claiming to be God on the last day, the last day of Passover, day seven, followed by the second, the glorious second coming of Christ on the Day of Atonement, where the kingdom would then begin inside Hanukkah. Uh, that's how this September 17 rapture timeline, which is only a possibility, that's how it works out mathematically. But there's more. In being consistent with the seven day week, 7,000 year pattern, a September 2023 rapture would mark six years from the Revelation 12 sign. Uh, in addition, the midpoint lands on the last day of Passover. Uh, the second coming lands on a date within 48 hours of our Lord's birthday. And the kingdom date on the timeline perfectly, perfectly aligns with coincides with the day, the very day, that the temple was rededicated in 164 BC. And folks, that's nothing short of extraordinary. So we may be leaving, we may not be. This is a projection, not a prediction. Big difference. And that's what I wanted to sort of remind you of as we approach this date of September 17. I'm standing out here at uh, beautiful Lake Worcester in eastern Oklahoma, northeastern Oklahoma. Uh, I, I don't think there's any fish left in this lake. I think I caught the last one like in 1974 or 73 or something like that. I don't have much time to fish anymore, which is really just fine with me. Uh, I kind of consider myself a fisher of men these days. Uh, but it's a beautiful spot to just come out and think and meditate and reflect on uh, life in general, uh, meditate on scripture, uh, fellowship with other believers. Uh, it's a kind of a getaway. It's, uh, it's nice to come out here and talk to you folks. It's a, it's a bright sunny day here. It's uh, the temperature of today. I think the high is going to be somewhere around 95. Uh, we've been in a heat wave. It's that's fixing to change. It's going to calm, cool down just a little bit, and I may come out here and fish if we're still here after sep September 17. I want to say something about all of these timelines that I have put out since Jan probably August of 2016. You know, beginning with the Revelation 12 sign, they are only projections. That's all they've ever been. They are, are not predictions. They are, folks, there are a specific number of days given us in Scripture which define a timeline. which outlines a timeline for us. 
When you take those days and you, you fit it someplace, and it lands on significant days that are, are quite impressive from just a general standpoint, it's hard not to suggest that as a possibility. And I have never seen any timeline since the whole, in the, all the time that I've been doing this, I have never seen a timeline that is, am, is am, as impressive as this one is. Now, will the Lord return for his church on September 17, 2023? I do not know. I don't know. I don't know any more than you do. Of course, no man knows the, the day or the hour. We don't know the day or the hour any more than we know how many stars there are in the heavens that God created. You know, we don't have the ability to count those stars. We just do not know. But dearly beloved, it is, there is nothing wrong with looking up for our redemption draweth nigh. And if there's ever been any time for us to do so, do that, it is now, right now. We are six years away from the Revelation 12 sign. That Revelation 12 sign was not just all junk, okay? It, it really occurred. And I, it could have been a, it could have been a six-year warning. A six-year, perhaps if the Lord doesn't come and He comes next year, then it would have been a seven-year warning. The point I'm trying to make, folks, is that I, I don't need to stand here and outline for you or remind you of all the signs that we are seeing that indicate that our Lord's return is near. I don't need to do that. You, you can see, you can see it. Okay, you've seen it. If, if you've turned on the news, if you've kept up with current events, folks, the United States of America is crumbling. Now, I could go in, we, we could stand here and we, all day and we could talk about all the, the very various reasons why that is. But dearly beloved, every single day that, that we wake up, we are one day closer to our Lord's return. And what is important to me is not as much that people get, get excited really about that, His return. What is really important to me is that they understand, first of all, that if, that if, if they are a Christian, that the rapture is, is very real. It is not uh, some invention of man. It is absolutely biblical. The rapture is, the pre-trib is, is the only, the, the only position that any Christian could take which is consistent with true biblical exegesis. And all of the other so-called positions must be rejected on that basis. And not only that, but every single Christian, it doesn't matter if you're a carnal Christian, it doesn't matter if you are a faithful Christian, every single member of the body of Christ will be raptured because his body cannot be disfigured or dismembered. You will, as a Christian, whether you believe it or not, expect it or not, want it or not, des desire it or not, you will be raptured to your surprise, you will be raptured, caught up together to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. That is your portion, that is your privilege, that is your right, because God established that fact through His death, burial, and resurrection. When we say that we don't believe in a rapture of the church and all saints going with it, not just only the good saints go, and you know, and the and the and the, those that are not so good, they get kind of left behind, you know, to fish this fish a lake that's with no fish in it. Dearly beloved, please listen to me. Our Lord's return is very, very near. You know as well as I do how fast time flies. Six years since the Revelation 12 sign, where did the time go? I love you all, I truly do. The main primary interest of this channel is to keep you encouraged, keep you looking up for our redemption draws an eye. Look, I love you all, I truly do. See you next Sunday. We're going to be going back to 2 Corinthians. We're in chapter 11. I invite you to join us there. Until then, rest in Him. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.